Sorry guys, I pressed the wrong button on the camera and shut off the camera. So now, now this is the second part of the video, but I, I'm, I have joined them together, so we keep going. So in the last section, I said that why do any other, other manufacturers don't do it? Because it costs more to do it, and you, you take skilled labor to do it. It, it takes even three days for this top and bottom silicone to cure before you can mount it on the chassis. So that's why they can't do it because within a day they will probably have to make 50 units. They can't wait because waiting costs money and they need to make money. Well, I do need to make money too, but it's not as desperate as they do. So they need to make as much money as possible. That's the attitude. And, and you know what? At, at this point of my life, that's not the priority. My priority is actually doing something that I like, doing something that I know is right, doing the way that I want to. I don't care it takes longer. It costs more. There are there are enough people that understand what I'm doing and appreciate what I'm doing. So I do it the way I am, and I'm going to push farther the way that I do things. Um, just in case anybody come back and say it's amateurish, it's unsafe. Well, before you say anything like that, you gotta think about it. Ask yourself what unsafe about it. Silicon is a is a very very good insulator. Very very good. It just just like what unsafe about it. Now, I bring this up because I know that somebody is going to put up some fairly baseless comments and those baseless comments I will I will try to engage you and if you're civilized but I have experienced that there are people that are totally emotional. They don't know what they're looking at and they're emotional then they poop on it. So with those I will be happy to delete the comment. Now, <coughs> <coughs> I must be saying something wrong so I choke myself so you probably actually laugh at that too anyway now silicone that's another property of silicone and after I put the silicone on top and bottom of the transformer it's not just that I don't rely on the bolt to hold it on in the chassis I put another coat of silicone before I mount it on the chassis this is the this is an amp partially done that have the transformer mounted on the chassis it has been one week. Actually, after two days, you can actually do this, and the silicone will hold the transformer. Now, I, you know, when you ship a piece of equipment, you can't guarantee that they're going to put the piece of equipment on laying flat. A lot of times, it's sideways, a lot because of safe space, and you can't blame them because shipping is shipping. So when you're shipping like this, you're gonna shake, you're gonna shake the transformer, you're gonna shake the silicone, you're gonna shake the transformer, and the weight of the transformer is almost equal to the entire, entire amp. So the momentum of the transformer, every time it bounces like that, you bounce like that, it's gonna drop. It, this transformer is approximately ten pounds, and when you when you push down like that, it's gonna be more than ten pounds every time you shake like that. So imagine the amount of force that you could put on the boat. And put on the chassis, but in this case, no bow in the middle, no bow in the middle. It just hold it by silicone. But the silicone is gonna spread the weight and the pull of the chassis instead of just a little tiny bit of washer in the in the center of the transformer. It's actually spread the whole section of the transformer. So they're pulling from the chassis with the whole section, not just tiny little bit of, of, of washer. So it actually better for mechanical point of view. It's stronger. It, 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 it just better than just mounting by the boat. Shipping wise, we have to deal with shipping every day. We can't just do some, something locally, so that we have to do we have to think about how strong how strong it is to handle shipping. So the silicone have multiple purpose, but the main purpose I was starting to do it is because of that rubber washer. So that is why I start to do the silicone on top and bottom of the of the transformer it's not because of the vibration the vibration is, is almost like a bonus the adhesive property of the silicone on the chassis is actually another bonus the main purpose is I can stand to have open hole open open hole now I can actually see see my camera see my monitor screen through that hole I'm keeping this rubber washer. Every time people ask me how come I use silicone, that's what I'm going to show them. Well, guess what? You know, you don't even know 
your amp that have a toroid that actually have a broken broken rubber washer or not until you take the transformer out. Now there are transformers that actually ported in a, a brown plastic uh, container with res with raisin. Resin. Resin, I think. Resin. Raisin is the one to eat. That's okay. That's perfectly fine. They still using a single bolt to bolt it down. That's perfectly fine. But there are many, many more that just using a rubber washer and a and a, and a bolt. Now so then okay, somebody said why don't you put it in the resin? This actually will, will eliminate the, the noise. No, it doesn't. It's a sixty hertz, fifty hertz hum. It doesn't matter how much you cover, it will travel far. It, it it just it just travel. Pour the transformer into one of those re, re, resin resin containers doesn't help with any hum. Doesn't help with any vibration. The resin harden. They actually transmit noise direct from the transformer all the way out. It won't help. Am I throwing theory around? No, because I've tried it. I I have two manufacturers actually tried it. They actually told me they will actually limit hum or decrease it. They don't. So, the transformer people knows what they do and they do. They do know how to make money. Um, so they depends on who you're talking to. If you're talking to an engineer, they might tell you something true. But if you're talking to a salesman, you know how salesmen want to do. They want to sell you some something. So they would they will promise to they will promise the they will promise a Saturn, but they will give you the moon. So yeah. So or maybe they'll promise a Jupiter instead. They promise Jupiter is bigger, but it's full of, full of hot air, isn't it? Okay, yeah. They promise that Jupiter gives you the moon. So, so all, a lot of those theory out there, a lot of those people that I know, that a lot of people that actually read something or hear something or watch something on YouTube and think they know everything. You know who I'm talking about, but if you do know who I'm talking about, you are actually two, three step better than the one that you don't know who I'm talking about because you actually admit. You may not know everything. I'm the last one to admit that I know everything. I don't know a lot of things, but I do know enough that I don't know. So, with this, I am going to shut off the video and then let you think about it. And there are three purposes, three benefits that silicone on top and bottom of the transformer will offer. But my main purpose when I initially start to do it is the rubber washer, not the other two. Until then, stay safe and stay warm. Oh, uh, if you hear all those rumbling noise in the background because the outside is minus 19 degrees Celsius, I turn, I decided to turn on the furnace, the, the boiler, so keep, keep it warm enough so the paint will cure. I can handle a bit of cold, but the paint cannot cure. That's no good. So anyway, until next time, bye.